In an isolated sky island in central New Mexico at about 8,800 feet elevation, we got a ton of conifers, mostly Pinus, uh, Ponderosa, Doug fir, and uh, a handful of uh, abies scattered about. And uh, since there's a ton of conifers, we got a ton of mycorrhizal fungi. And since we have mycorrhizal fungi in the ground, we've got a plant that parasitizes those mycorrhizal fungi, specifically in the family Rusulaceae. This is Monotropa hypopetus, and it is uh, this is in the blueberry family Ericaceae. And you can see it's got no chlorophyll. It doesn't photosynthesize. It's just stealing, if we can anthrop anthropomorphize a little bit, from fungi. It's probably not as simple as that. Probably started off as a mutualistic relationship, but this whole group in the blueberry family, this whole clade, this evolutionary group in the blueberry family Ericaceae, uh, the Monotropoidae subfamily parasitizes mycorrhizal fungi. They're what's known as mycoheterotrophs. You can see this bright red color. It's just really trying to get noticed, probably pollinated by some sort of small fly. Uh, and uh, it's a, got a really weird, really weird shape that you can see these are just emerging these are last year's inflorescences and then the seeds are absolutely tiny and probably wind dispersed and so of course we've got the crime pays resident mycologist alan rockefeller here oh we want to tell us what's going on with this thing yeah this thing parasitizes the russulaceae so russula lactarius lactifluus it's growing with this pinus ponderosa here and so where where have you seen this i mean where else have you encountered this species I mostly see it in southern Mexico. In montane environments or what? Yeah, really high elevation. And then, of course, we've got Monotropa uniflora, Monotropa coccinea, which I uh, just saw in Costa Rica, which you also get in southern Mexico as well. But this whole family, I mean, they, or at least this, the Monotropas, at least this genus, they all parasitize Rusulaceae, which is mycorrhizal. It's a, it's a family of mycorrhizal mushrooms. And then from the same family, from the blueberry family here at Casey, we got Pterospora andromeda growing in beautiful Lincoln County, New Mexico. And what is this? Andesitic sand? Almost looks like limestone. It kind of looks like a andesitic sand. Maybe it's more that oligocene volcanics. Either way, no chlorophyll because it's not photosynthetic. It's stealing from mycorrhizal fungi, which is uh, symbiotic with all these pines and dug firs and firs. Oh, look at that. Nice... Uh, a nice penstemon. No, it's that, uh, it's that Ipomopsis. Anyway, look at that. Blueberry flowers on it. You can really see them. Ursi lit flowers. So glandular. You get that in Wisconsin. You get it in Northern California. I didn't know you had it in New Mexico, too. It makes sense, though. I'm eating this aspen. Yeah, look at this pterospora. That's a massive one. Pine drops, they call it. What is that? That's gymno Gymnopolis? Yeah, the Gymnopolis is different one than we've been seeing because the one we've been seeing is that hallucinogenic luteofolius, but this one has a much smoother cap and uh -huh. no, no lavender in the stem. 